Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with an Italian beauty. It's not about a girl, it's about this new Ferrari Roma. And in this video, I will make the full review interior, exterior. I will try to explain you everything about this new Roma. You can see in the video also material quality, space in the trunk, the engine, some technical data, the multimedia system. And I try to give you all the information that I can. Also, if you want to find out the price, because as you probably know, those uh, Ferrari Roma, there are not so many on the market and that's why you cannot find it and the price is always, always going higher and higher and higher because this chip shortage, I cannot give you a price now and then in two weeks, one month, the price will be different. Better for more information, price details, optional details, check out Automobile Nemet. I will leave the link in the description. So if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out guys, Automobile Nemet, the link will be in the description. I want to give you some technical data and then we will start the review exterior, interior as always. So first of all, I want to tell you that the car come with a 3.9 engine B turbo V8, 620 horsepower, 760 Newton meters, the rear wheel drive system, and it's connected with an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. The fuel consumption, estimated 10.7 liters fuel tank capacity 80 liters co2 emission 245 grams the top speed of the car 320 km 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds also the car come with ventilated brake discs and cross drilled brake discs in the front on the rear ceramic carbon brakes from Brembo also we have some beautiful black brake calipers and on the rear four pistons on the front six pistons incredible brakes you will see it as we go outside also they look very nice those 20 inch rims that the car come with look phenomenal i mean they fit just perfect on the car the turning radius of the car 10.8 meters boot capacity 292 liters i will show you when we go inside also the front suspension independent double wishbone coil spring with anti-roll bar rear suspension independent double wishbone coil spring with anti-roll bar now guys those are the most important information about the car let's start the review and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's start with the key sadly i have the key in this plastic protection and i cannot take it out because it's somehow locked here in place and i don't want to broke it so first of all i want to tell you that you can get the car with two keys you have the option also to get the key completely with ferrari logo in colors but you can get this as standard with the roma logo down here and also it's in leather you have two buttons here one button i don't know if you can see it so well it's to lock the car and one button is to unlock the car and also to unlock the trunk the car doesn't come with an automatic lift gate in the trunk but yeah you still can unlock it from here so if you come close to the car if you unlock the car you can see that the car come with electric folding mirrors as well and also guys if you want to lock and unlock the car look at those handles they are so unique and so cool so you don't even need to touch the key if you have it in your pocket also by the way the key is super light if you come here if you press this you lock the car and if you press it again you unlock the car I want to show you how cool you come inside the car this will be uh, really interesting because it's something unique and you don't find in other cars if you want to unlock the car look at this you just have to press in and unlock it just like that and it works really really cool and fancy and I like that very much now this is about the key I want to start the engine uh, turn on the lights and talk a little bit about the exterior all right guys I just turned on the light uh, the engine I still leave it off for a while because it will be super noisy here so I'm trying to talk a little bit easier here so let's talk a little bit about the design so in my opinion it's a super nice car it looks from the side I don't know guys if you see that movie the kit car in the past when I was young I think the new the new generation doesn't know it but the older generation know it from this angle it looks a little bit like kit car uh, it's a beautiful car a beautiful coupe a beautiful sporty car even the nose of the car it's so special and different i like it very much i always i was always kind of a fan of what ferrari did 
in terms of design, the lines, the aggressiveness, the look of the front end. It looks a little bit like an Aston Martin as well. I don't know, it's, it's, it brings a little bit from many cars here and I like that. It's a, it's a great combination between many cars, but in a, some way it's also a Ferrari. It comes with that unique feeling, I don't know. You immediately feel that it's a Ferrari, even though it doesn't look so classic as they, they used to. Also the back end of the car, so aggressive, so muscular, those wings, I should say, around the wheels there. Uh, it looks quite, quite muscular and, and spectacular. Even the lights, we have full LED lights everywhere. They look just fabulous and also new design on the lights. They are no more round. They are some kind of lines uh, and I like that very much. Let's start with the roof, slipping roof. No lines, no shape, nothing. It's just a round roof up here that continuing with this window on the back. There is the, the brake light, LED light. Uh, here on the, on the rear window, we have defrosted windows. We have Ferrari logo in the back here. Also, uh, Ferrari writing there and Ferrari logo down here, the horse uh, in the back that signify Ferrari. Uh, then going here on the side, look at the muscular. Look at this area here, so beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Those are the new uh, tail lights, turning signals and normal tail light. Also, when the brakes turn on, you can see it also in this, uh, in this place where the turning signals are right now. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I really like the way they design it. Much more simple and much more modern, I should say, if you look from this angle. Now, going down here, we have LED lights on the number plate. Also, reverse camera, it's here. I will show you when we go inside. Down here on the bumper, guys, look at the bumper. I think they put all the respect in this bumper. Look at the exhaust pipes. Oh boy, they are like guns gun machine you know like you're going to war with those exhaust pipes they look so powerful and so nice and kind of a goldish color also around them here look beautiful here we have some light reflector we have this kind of matte uh, black plastic in the back also look aggressive four parking sensors on the rear this is the fog lamp it's led light and also down there you can see some exhaust air air exhaust i should say there quite aerodynamic under the car they try to make it as aerodynamic as possible so the air will flow around here outside uh, from under the car there on the other side another two exhaust pipes beautiful i mean those exhaust pipes look in a big way guys really aggressive really really powerful the back end of the car look in a big way now going here on the side on the upper side some glossy uh, color i will tell you the name of the color in a second down here some rubber rubber everywhere on the down part look at this guys i like the fact that even here they put a lot of rubber and when you close the door it push a little bit in the rubber there something that i like very much in comparison with my tesla model 3 where here uh, usually it makes some water uh, i think in this one it's much more better isolated uh, and yeah, it should be much better. So they know how to do cars for sure. The handles, you already see it very nice integrated in the door. Other than that, pretty simple. They try to make everything simple. No sharp edges, no crazy lines and stuff like that. Like you see in a, a Woody, for example, it's just round and simple. Down here, some plastic on the skirt, plastic mat, if you scratch it, it's, it's fine. You can change it super easy and it's practical and also look good. Going higher on the mirror, blind spot technology there, quite round mirror. I like the fact that in the interior of the mirror, it's also this glossy uh, color of the, of the car, the same color as the car. Also the leg of the mirror, it's in the same color as the car and it looks quite, quite nice. Or it's black, I think it's black this area, yes. But the black glossy, it looks really, really stand out. Down here, we have the camera for 360 degrees camera. I will show you when we go inside. Here on the windscreen, we have a camera for reading the traffic speed limit, for helping with lane assist and all that safety features. Light and raining sensors is there. By the way, they still keep that blinker on the side. Beautiful LED Klein little blinker. Kind of a signature from Ferrari now. Uh, look at the front. I mean, the way it comes, those nose. That nose in the front end, the front end, it's so long. Look at it, look how long it is. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Look at those area here, aggressive wings. 
hood it's also aggressive i like it so much look at this look at those bumps here in the middle beautiful beautiful design it looks really really nice it's really stand out a lot i like it ferrari logo the key the the optional key it looks the same as this logo here in the front beautiful really front end it's quite quite beautiful and also the nose come all the way down here here we have another horse then you have the camera front camera four parking sensors the grill it's so special so unique look at the grill guy also inside there you can see the air intakes and the radiator air intakes on the down part here is the rudder for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features and on the down part the ground clearance quite low on the down part you have also this lip here it looks like a lip it looks like a shark nose from this angle it's like a shark yeah quite interesting here we have the lights led lights turning signals daylight uh, and also the high bin and low bin are full leds so like i was uh, expected so this is the car this is the exterior what do you think guys you like it here is the tank by the way we have easy fuel tank all you have to do is push it in and you don't have to open any cap so that's also very practical on the other side i want to talk a little bit about the rims we have 20 inch rims in the front on the rear as well beautiful rims kind of typical for ferrari we have the ferrari logo here it looks super nice we have ferrari logo on the brake calipers brake calipers in black also carbon ceramic uh, brembo brakes four pistons this is the handbrake calipers and then you can see the brake discs they are ventilated cross drilled ceramics gorgeous gorgeous the way they look it's gorgeous in the front the same story but in the front they are a little bit bigger as usually in most of the cars and also the brake calipers we have six pistons this time in the front but the same same design same colors lovely i think you see already the lights i can turn it off and also the engine i'll show you later how cool you turn on the engine and turn off from down here you open the hood by the way if you don't know that um, i tell you right now let's go in the front we have automatic lift gate in the front on the engine bay here yes look at this open up the hood automatic lift gate in the front this is the engine guys v8 3.9 liters incredible engine and what's more incredible is the way they array it here in this place i think it's the most beautiful engine that i ever seen and they put it somehow behind the wheels so they have a better stability there also look at those pipes here the way they look it's just incredible they even put red inside there they put red inside the engine and some parts of the engine they are made in red ferrari logo there beautiful man i mean wow this is the most beautiful engine that i've ever seen the way they array it the way it looks here you have ferrari chassis number the air filter and exhaust and wow i mean it looks it looks phenomenal i don't know about you but i love the way it looks man really beautiful anyway the wipers fluid it's here let me go in the back now I'm gonna close this hood big hood really huge hood close it like that super simple from the middle you have to do it with your finger like that this is the proper way to close a hood we have manual lift gate in the trunk here very easy to to open it up here you have a handle to close it manually if you want to also it's very light this door it's incredible light and i want to show you something cool something that you don't see in other cars it's this uh, personalization specification so you can see all the specification of the car will be put inside here in the trunk on this plate and in this way you can see with what options the car come and if we read it here together we have ferrari roma you can see also the exterior color blue ponzi you can see the color interior color sabia you can see the number the matte narrow you can see even the matte name and, and codes here we have the front radar with adaptive cruise control black back radar you have glossy black brake caliper sport tailpipe tip uh, advanced front camera 
Um, you can see the color heated, insulated windscreen. We have here electronic rear view mirror, leather passenger compartment uh, in this color. You can see it's optional aluminum, uh, driver and pass foot thread, ventilated full electric seats, high power hi-fi system, surrounding view and active matrix LED light headlamps. All the options are put it here. So if you buy the car and if you see it doesn't match with those options, you know it's something wrong there. Anyway, look at the trunk again, something unique. Look the way they design, it's really incredible. I mean, it's really strange. And here we have directly flat floor. Interesting the way they design it. Also under here, you have some tools from Ferrari. And what is cool, look at this, even on this, screwdriver it's Ferrari logo on it cool huh how cool is that we have hooks in the corners hooks here a little bit of step here guys you can see up the step you have some storage space here to put different things it's not a huge trunk also LED lights in both parts other than that good quality also here but it's not a huge trunk but expected for for the size of the car but really interesting the way they design it Anyway, close the door from here. Super, super simple, just like that. We have this beautiful, beautiful kind of a creme color, lovely leather. Uh, going to the door, frameless windows. Here we have soft material and leather everywhere. Super soft on the higher, uh, even here soft. Then we come with this leather and this beautiful color. Here, even here it's soft and good high quality leather. And then some storage space here handle it's also in the same same leather then you have the button to unlock the door so you can get out of the car here we have the open the trunk three different saving position for electric seats here we have gbl sound system that is also optional and it looks also very nice in this uh, chrome plate down here we have the ferrari logo at the entrance electric adjustable seats from here you can adjust the seats we have aluminum pedals that looks just gorgeous down here we have Roma writing even on the carpet incredible I mean in terms of seats the entrance it's huge in terms of seats they are they are beautiful super super nice uh, the way they look is gorgeous also you can see the the logo with the horse there on the headrest you can see the little holes right here uh, some Alcantara in the middle Alcantara here on this area Alcantara here lovely seats lovely lovely seats now on the back seat you have to pull it like this then it will go electrically a little bit forward and then in the back here we have two seats the thing is that those seats usually in those kind of sporty car coupe they are not so spacious man i mean any car that i test it's it's it has a little space maybe you can install isofix for child in both sides but for an adult person a tall person it will be really hard to stay here but overall the quality even in the back here is gorgeous you have some speakers also here in the back if i go in wait a second on the upper side you have alcantara here alcantara as well and here it's also leather everywhere let me go in the back i mean i want to make this test i'm not so tall so for me it's fine here on the roof by the way it's very good quality it's not alcantara but very good quality look at this if i put if i stay inside here the seats will go in the back and if i stop it if you will feel me it will go back again in the front automatically but in terms of space, you can see I'm almost with the head there. I can stay here for short trips if I go a little bit on the side like that. Um, for short trips will be fine, but for long trips, really complicated. Anyway, let me go out of here. Uh, we will go in the front. We will talk about the things in the front as well. We have also a hook here behind the seats. Behind the seats, good quality leather. Yeah, let me go outside. Going outside is not that hard. I mean, for me, at least it's, it's easy. Let me put back the seats. Let me go inside the car. Going inside the car, closing the door, a little bit harder. You can see the Ferrari Roma logo uh, on the screen. Visibility around the windows, it's perfect because this window extended a little bit in the back here. You have gorgeous visibility, perfect visibility in the mirrors. I love that uh, lines on the car. You can see that muscular part of the body look really nice in the mirror. Good visibility around the windows as well. Lovely visibility around the windows. 
uh, in the back also surprisingly you have a good visibility you can see one more time the seats in the back some storage space here for a phone here you have an armrest in leather some storage space plenty plenty space here an led light a usb 2 and also a 12 volt port down there here is a place for a cup holder and then you have the key you can put something there also here you have some storage space and down here you have also some storage space where you can put your phone or different items under the the center console let me start the engine actually if you press the the pedal and look at the start engine button this is not a button it's a touch screen here actually you put the finger one time and then you will see a nice a graphic with Ferrari on the on the screen and then one more time oh boy and the sound it's it's just phenomenal here guys by the way on the left side you find all the controllers on a nice touch screen the controllers for 360 degrees camera parking sensors start stop engine the mirrors you can adjust it electrically from down here oh boy Okay, I have to put down a little bit the, the climatic system. So now guys, as I said, here on this area, you can control the mirrors, the lights from here. You just have to put your finger and turn on, turn off the lights and also uh, the fog lamps. You have it all here on this plate. Uh, then the vents, by the way, they are just phenomenal. I mean, the way you change it and you adjust it, it's just crazy. I love those vents and the quality is incredible. Even up here, you have great quality Alcantara here, uh, leather everywhere. You have speaker there, um, lovely, lovely design. And also the position of driving, it's crazy. I mean, you have a perfect driving position for a sporty car, everything. It's easy to reach out and it's lovely the way they design it. Also, I like very much that the great quality it's everywhere even here stuff here is leather uh, even here behind the steering wheel right here in this area you have alcantara so lovely lovely quality i like it very much and also those vents feel phenomenal i mean the quality of the vents not only that they look good but they feel great also you can close it and open it from from behind there now here on this area the same story you have the roma very nice writing here on the dash even down here good quality open this up the glow box you can see it it's relatively uh, big and also you have an LED light there uh, what I like very much is the fact that they put a plate there like pedals even for the passengers so they will feel special I think uh, the center console it's also special the armrest here and those buttons controllers are perfectly positioned when you drive you can reach them out very easy this is the SOS button it's here it's really surprisingly that they put it down here in the middle here on the side you have the buttons for the windows you can here you have also the possibility to go in reverse if you want to go in reverse you just press the brake and then look at this you are in reverse right now you can see a nice uh, line that come down there then here you go in manual or you go in automatic how cool is that really really interesting also when you go in reverse by the way you can see that the reverse camera is not on the middle uh, multimedia system you can see the reverse camera on the on the cockpit guys and it's great you can see the 360 degrees camera right there in front of you on the screen and also from here you can change different views and even if you go in front you can see the front camera so if you drive forward or backward you can see all the cameras there and the 300 degrees camera it's also here you can choose from here to see lines or if you don't want to see those lines or you can go back to home and you can choose for example what you like to see which camera you like to see would you like to see the side camera would you like to see the front camera and the resolution of the cameras it's, it's really good also you can turn on and off from down here the cameras if you want if you don't want to see it on the screen and now it they are off handbrake it's here electronic handbrake and also you have the button for auto park down here I don't know if you can see it so well yes now you see it and here you have the multimedia system guys the multimedia system it's fine you have some controllers here I don't think they focus too much to extend this multimedia system i think they focus more on the 
um, digital cockpit because there you find all the information that you need and even more than that here they focus on climatic system you have to go down here and adjust the climatic system the temperature also from the side here the heating seats if you want to turn on the heating seat you have free position to turn on the, the heating on the seats even the ventilation on the seats you have free position the car come with ventilated seats as well so you can turn them on and off in the summer it's super useful the seats adjustment also you have here all the seats adjustment you can adjust every single part of the seats this is just incredible i mean you have so many adjustments from here from the screen not only from the side but here you have some extra adjustment so from this point of view it's really smart then what you will have have here also this uh the frosting buttons you have the audio uh settings the phone settings the navigation uh, is right here by the way the navigation the only thing that i notice in the car is that the navigation it's a little bit slower it has a little bit of lag but i don't think it's so important because uh, once you set a destination it will work just fine and then you don't even care about it you just look at the digital screen so from this point of view i don't think it's very important for how many things you do here and then the climatic system other than that you don't need to change anything on the on this screen here so you have the ferrari on the upper side and if you go forward you will see that all the controllers are on this display here in the front and actually guys let me drive the car a little bit forward i wanna let this because you can hear also the sound by the way from down here you change different driving modes you have like wet mode comfort sport and race mode and every time you change it you can see also on the screen there the way they change wet mode comfort sport and race we will go in comfort uh, if we will go in sport mode or race you will hear nice nice sound uh, when you accelerate the car anyway let me park it here in the shadow because I want to show you some the screen you cannot see it so well in the in the light it's so much sun outside let me put it here just like that okay now it's great so now here guys as I said from here you can change different driving modes super simple right now we are in sport mode and let's go in comfort mode and also traction control you can turn it off from here and you can see also on the screen there a nice graphic when you change those uh, driving modes as I said before most of the most important things are on the screen if you look here I want to show you from down here on the side here you have kind of a touch screen you know like Mercedes use it and also from here you can activate it and you can change different uh, views and different things from from this area so for example you can see it will appear on the screen and then it will work so you can see different views there for example if you don't want to see the navigation you can move it on the other side you can see information on the car on the right side right now or you can see also the maximum speed the average speed the different information about the car or you can move it like that you can customize uh, the way you want it I mean it's it's crazy customizable and I like the fact that you can change a lot of things and they move somehow all the information from the multimedia system they move it here on this screen and you can see right now you have the vehicle information here if you go back you have audio then if you go back you have navigation so you can see navigation here if you don't want navigation you have the phone and then if you don't want the phone you can go to the settings on the settings you find all the settings of the car I don't know if you can see it so well I try to zoom in a little bit more here on the settings you have like show on display the brightness the doors and mirrors auto hazard uh, units of measure the tire pressure sensors here you have the sound wiper sensitivity uh, light switch on time format and all that settings of the car then if I go back if I go back I have the infotainment system here you can adjust the language the sound settings the display settings then you have others others are all those safety features guys uh, like adaptive cruise control the speed limit alert blind spot uh, emergency brake lane assist track, uh, traffic sign recognition speed limit and all that safety features you have it here uh, under others the same as fiat if i'm not wrong and peugeot group also they use the same name going back and this is the the thing that you can customize here so it's it's quite interesting the way you can customize those screens and i like very much this screen it's a lot of uh bright 
a lot of great information and also it's very very visible and it's much more responsive than it is this screen here in the middle so from this point of view it's great now what we have here on the steering wheel you have all the controllers it's like on a computer game you have the pedals to change the gear they are metal to change the gear manually it's super cool and they feel good quality now here you have the blinkers if you want to turn the signal you turn it from here just like that uh, then down here you can see it's black right now it's nothing there but if you put your finger here you can activate it over here I think if I'm not wrong let me show you I don't know it should be active I don't know how okay just like that now you activate it here is the cruise control and all that uh, features you can activate deactivate it from here then you have the telephone the voice command and down here it's also from cruise control you can set plus and minus here is the the buttons for the lights you can turn it on and off behind here it's another button guys when you turn it when you push press it to you it will turn off on the lights I don't know if you can see them but on the screen it shows you and also here on this area you have the wipers and then you have the wipers on this wheel you choose the the speed of the wipers and behind here you have another pedal that you turn on the wipers it's, it's really cool and then you have another button there if I'm not wrong and I don't remember ah this is the volume from the radio ah nine from here you change the radio station and then you have another up here is the volume so it's a wheel here on the, on behind the steering wheel so really interesting thing how many things controllable things buttons you have on the steering wheel and uh, this is incredible this is the start engine button by the way yeah let me stop the engine press it once and now it's stopped silent now guys up here you have a mirror good relatively good visibility if you look there in the mirror for a car in this class and also good quality I like the mirror up here you have also some touch uh, LED buttons and you can turn it on and off and then you have this protection for the sun here without any mirror in leather I think I show you almost everything guys I don't know if the only thing that it's missing uh, it's probably the sound of the engine that I will put it right now on the screen so you can enjoy it for a few seconds <laughs> and back in the video right now i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the review guys if you have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to see the car if you want to test drive the car or buy the car check out automobile nemet i will leave the link in the description they are in switzerland Bern, so you can check them out guys also thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that also my rating for this ferrari roma from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 this is my rating i think it's a phenomenal car in terms of driving feeling and engine and performance uh, but in terms of multimedia system i think they can improve a little bit here and there uh, but overall super super nice car anyway that was the video thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys